Hey, what is up guys? And today, and for today's video, we are going to talk about Master's Touch builds. I initially wanted to cover a lot more different builds for a lot more different weapons in this single video, but I realized it would take too many, too much time because there are a lot of different variations of Master's Touch builds you can make. I just realized looking at my old PS4 builds, looking at my current PC builds, there are a lot of different ways you can make a master touch build and i'm going to use longsword as a template but note that with master's touch builds that the weapon you use is pretty much interchangeable with pretty much any weapon but these builds specifically will be usable and viable and optimal for longsword hammer sword and shield insta glaive switch x and hunting horn i guess dual blades maybe uh but i'll probably do a separate video on dual blades builds but the point is master's touch is the way to go if you want to do optimal end game dps now are these builds the best builds um for me they are for my community and for general purpose i would say yes are they mathematically the best builds probably not you know but this isn't one of those channels where i give you the math this is one of those channels where I show you the builds and I explain why I use them and why I think they're good and viable and why I recommend them. So, having said that, let's get started. Okay, so, um, once you finish the game, the first longsword you want to make is the Shara longsword. That is the best endgame longsword up until the Goldrathian longsword. So for Shara, it's really interesting to make these builds really interesting to make these builds because you do need a decent amount of handicraft you do need a decent amount of handicraft on these builds and you can use non-elemental boost so it's gonna be a little tricky these builds we're gonna cover here first are for basically under basically 50 mr and under because you get you have a lot more options when you're once you're able to make certain gear and certain charms so this is the build I was initially using on PC. This was the first Master Stud Shara Longsword build that I made. And a lot of people tend to recommend, oh, use the Kieran chest piece. Oh, use the Bertigrex chest piece, which is available at 70 plus, mind you. Um, but for this, I actually went with the Cashella chest piece because you're only gonna have a Handicraft 3 charm. And you could use that, you could use that, but then you would be left with the Kieran chest piece, which is okay. It's it's pretty good. It's a, I would say it's pretty good for like like pre like end game pre story. Honestly, I would say it's good for that. Or like um like right before you right right before you beat the game. But honestly, the Cashella chest piece has a lot more value. I feel. Especially being that it has an additional level 2 slot. So this is how I chose to get uh, for Handicraft. Putting a Handicraft Deco in the Kaiser Van Braces. And also putting um, a just a random Handicraft Deco I got um, just just playing the game, you know. Um, it should also be noted that you're not, you don't see peak performance on, these, on this build right now. Because peak performance, this is a under 100 MR. 100 100 MR build right here. So having peak performance with no health, health augment would not be a very good idea. <laughs> it would not. So you want a handy graph. Now, in the event, in the event that um that you do want to use the charm, you can you can actually opt to make the build this way. Uh so I using the handicraft three charm in this build. And instead of using Kirin, Brutigrex, chest piece, I'm using the Clockwork chest piece, actually. Clockwork chest piece actually has two agitator on it. It has two agitator. It's an, an often overlooked chest piece. And it actually worked out perfectly. And actually gave us a free level one slot. You can put literally whatever you want there. If in the event you don't have any combination decos with extra, with extra vitality, you can just stick it in there. Uh, it should also be noted that I am using the Kaiser Crown. Um, it may not be recommended to use this depending on your skill level, but 
a lot of like this these uh, master such builds require a lot of level two decos and having the the um the gamma kaiser crown from high rank really helps at not that much of a armor loss honestly it's not that bad the, f the first initial build here is using the um, is using the master rank version which you can do which you can use if you want if you prefer the extra armor but honestly you are not you you are not that much more squishier using a one high rank piece i promise you so okay so now we're going to cover 100 plus <laughs> we're going to cover 100 plus um longsword builds using the shara longsword now this is where we want to use peak performance because we can get health augment finally and make use of that extra 20 attack here we're still using the Cachella chest piece, but I'm only using it because I have a double handicraft deco. By this point, you should have some decent decos. Not everyone is going to have double handicraft, so in the event that you don't, you probably can't make this build exactly the way I have it. But you could make something similar, and you would probably just drop a peak performance or something. A lot of you guys have double agitators, you know? You could make the build completely different if you had double agitator. You know, I don't have any on PC yet, but this is how I would, um, this is how I made the build here to have three peak performance. All of it slotted in. Now, alternatively, alternatively, if you don't have a double handicraft deco and you have agitator decos, this is another way you could make it. This way, we're instead of using double handicraft decos, we're using double agitator decos. And we're using two of them. If you're lucky enough to have two, good on you. Uh, most of you probably don't. Um, <laughs> but this is another way to make it. Um, in the event that you don't only have one double agitator deco, um, you'd probably just want to drop um, just drop one of the double agitators, add like an agitator or something something. Or in in the event that you don't have double agitators, like none of these builds are absolutely ruined if you don't have double handicraft like you would just go back you would just go back to making to just using the 50 mr and below as a template and uh -huh. and probably sacrificing peak performance i don't think peak performance is worth it unless you go max honestly but i mean there's nothing wrong with going two or three or, or going like two peak performance it's still a nice attack bonus but this also keep in mind this is using the shara is using the Shara longsword, which is not the best longsword. If you want to use the absolute best longsword, I only use the Shara longsword because it looks cool. That's just me. But if you want to use the absolute best longsword, it's actually Goldrath. And Goldrath is extremely flexible when it comes to Master's Touch. Because you don't need Handicraft, you don't need an Elemental Boost, so that clears up a lot. This was my initial build on PS4. It would be very difficult to make because it requires two double uh, two double expert decos but uh this is just a general idea of how you would make it um because you don't need handicraft non elemental boost um in the event you don't have a double expert double expert so you would just go you would just drop an x you would just drop the attack attack level ones and put two experts instead but the level, whatever you put in level four slot doesn't really matter put like an attack and an x y or z or a double attack and you essentially have the same build with just one less attack, you know? Um, by the way, I don't recommend making Gold Wrath build until, like, probably 100 plus, honestly. You know, by then, by then you'll probably have the decos. I mean, I guess you could make it right away, but for simplicity's sake with, like, peak performance and, like, not being able to get health augment until 100 plus, I, I have these builds, like, recommended for 100 plus uh, end game so another way you can make it of course is with the devil joe chess piece devil joe chess piece though um the main reason i i like this chess piece is not only because of the level two slots is also because of the appearance now if you're on if you're on pc you can just mod and transmog your appearance however you want but if you're on console um i would consider um I would, I would consider this fashion meta, actually. <laughs> I would. Uh, let me let me show you what it looks like. This is... Let's see, where is the build? Uh, well, this is what it would look like here, basically. It would basically look like this. So I would consider this fashion meta for console, honestly. I love the, I love the look of this. 
on PC, you can just transmog this if you want. But this is how you would look on um, on console. Okay, now. Uh, where were we? Um, okay, so that's another version of this uh, Gold Wrath Longsword build. Now, keep in mind, I know we're covering Longsword, but I'm going to explain to you why. Why, it doesn't matter what weapon I cover. <laughs> I'm explaining it to you. Um... Okay, so this version is using the Rex for a chess piece, and finally we have a version of this build that, um, <laughs> that uses this chess piece. Uh, because we're able to get four attack. We're able to get four attack exactly, even with a level four slot. Now, you can actually have five attack if you wanted. This, um, I pretty much left this slot empty because if you want five attack, you can have five attack, or you can have six attack if you have a double attack that go. But if you wanted to, this is probably the... This build right here, actually. No, this build coming up here. Is actually the number one recommended longsword build I could ever recommend. The number one gold wrath weapon build I could recommend, actually. So specifically for gold wrath longsword, gold wrath SNS, and gold wrath sword and shield. And this uh, build right here doesn't require... Any rare decos, really. Flawless and Vitality are not that hard to find. <laughs> they're not. They're pretty common. And that's it. <laughs> that's literally it. Um, and you have pretty, pretty awesome DPS, I would have to say. But that's for those three specific weapons. Now, you may be asking, like, Ramis, Ramis, this only covers Longsword. So, how does this affect... How would you, how would you adjust these builds for, basically... For basically um, any other build, for um, sword and shield, insect glaive, switch axe, specifically um, like switch axe and sword and shield, well, switch axe and insect glaive. Well, the thing is, all you would have to do is just swap out the performance. Any of these builds, any of these builds, except for the ones where you have fell shroud, any of these builds where you slot in peak performance, you just swap it out for power prolonger. And all of a sudden, you have a longsword master touch build, and like you have, and you now have a switch axe slash insiglave master touch build. That's literally all you do. You swap out peak performance for power prolonger. That's it. For the rest of these, um, for the rest of the weapons, literally works perfectly fine for sword and shield, um, hammer, um, sword and shield, hammer, dual blades. If you Dual Blades! We'll talk about Dual Blades later. Um, but it works for literally everything. Um, Greatsword. Some people like... I, I personally don't mind Greatsword without focus. That's just me, though. So, um... I'll be doing a Greatsword video later. Another one, by the way. But basically, that's it. This is, like, how you... This is how I would build Master's Touch. There are a lot of different combinations of Master's Touch builds you can make. There are a ton, and it will vary a lot. It will vary a lot. There, it will vary a lot depending on what decos you have. What decos you have is very important to making a lot of these builds. But missing, missing a thing here and there, missing a thing here and there, isn't going to be that much of a problem. And I noticed this chick here was like moaning, <laughs> like the entire time I was recording this. So I hope that wasn't too distracting, but um. Either way, I hope you guys got some useful information from this. Um, if you have any recommendations or builds you want to see, post them below in the comments. This was supposed to be a video that also covered Greatsword and Charge Blade, but I realized it would be too long if I did. So, until next time, I will. next videos will be on uh, Greatsword, on um, Charge Blade, and, and Guild Palace weapons. We'll also talk about Guild Palace weapons and Master Such as well. So, until next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Master Such, and I will see you on Twitch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and do the things.